All right, party people. So the Fitbit Versa has finally landed. And today we're gonna to be unboxing the black aluminum standard edition, but I also do have the extremely attractive black metal mesh band that we can take a really close look at. So the box itself is gonna be extremely similar to the Fitbit Ionic, but let's go through some of these features. So you have the phone-free music storage. You're gonna have their pure pulse heart rate sensor. There's gonna be on-screen coaching with Fitbit Coach. There's gonna be the apps and notifications, and it is gonna be water resistant down to 50 meters. So no, it doesn't have GPS, but the Versa only starts at $200, which I think is gonna hit an interesting little sweet spot, which I think is gonna make it a compelling choice for plenty of people. And although there are some Android Wear watches out there with GPS that are under $200, you're still not gonna be getting the phenomenal Fitbit smartphone app as well as the Fitbit community. All right, enough of the yammering, let's take a look at this thing. All right, so inside the box, we are gonna have the watch itself all the instruction manuals, which we may or may not have to read. And then we have an extra strap, as well as the charging cradle brick. I'm not exactly sure what they call this yet. So this is the charging base, and I'm not necessarily a huge fan of this thing because it seems a little bit larger than necessary, but I do like the fact that it will place the watch kind of in a displayed position. And then what's interesting about this charger is that the whole thing actually expands to hold the watch in place. So first impressions straight out of the gate. So I've heard comparisons to the Apple Watch and I kind of have to tend to agree. And just for comparison, here's my Apple Watch. So what you can see here is that the size is almost exactly the same. The Apple Watch, this is gonna be the 42 millimeter version. The Apple Watch 42 millimeter version is a little bit taller, but the Versa is a little bit wider. And then in terms of thickness, uh, the Apple Watch actually is slightly thicker because of that dome-like heart rate sensor. But for the case itself, I have to say that this is actually much higher quality than I was expecting for that $200 price tag. It's gonna be made out of aluminum right here. And then it does have a raised glass surface, which I think is gonna be interesting in terms of durability. The one area that you may be disappointed in is this standard strap is very stiff and it doesn't have like a premium finish to it. But I do have that metal mesh band to toss on here, which we'll do a little bit later. So taking a look at the display, the display is gorgeous, just like the Ionic. It's extremely bright. And I'm pretty stoked about this watch face that has the overlapping numbers. All right, quick look at the interface. We have exercise, music, alarms, coach, relax, weather, timer, settings, tips, Pandora, Strava, Starbucks, as well as Deezer. So in just the couple seconds of playing around with the interface here, it does seem to be slightly more responsive than the Ionic, but everything does feel a little bit snappier, which is really quite nice. And this already does have Fitbit's newest operating system on it. All right, so the full review is gonna be coming soon, but let's talk about who this device is actually for. Well, first of all, I think it's a really compelling option to the Apple Watch, both the Apple Watch Series 1 as well as the Apple Watch Series 3 because it is going to be a little bit cheaper, and some people just don't simply like the look of an Apple Watch either. But more importantly, this could be a really good option for those of you who don't own an iPhone and don't necessarily need GPS either because the fitness experience should be quite good even without the GPS considering Fitbit's heritage. But it is gonna be interesting to see what the smartwatch experience is gonna be like, considering that apparently not all Android smartphones are gonna be compatible. So I'll try to test with as many as I can and let you know. All right, so I did not forget about the black mesh metal band, but let's take a look at this guy. So like I said, the stock watch band, it's uh, leaves something a little bit to be desired. So let's pop these things off and check out how the black mesh metal band will look. And I'm very curious to see if I'll be able to feel these metal pins while wearing it. But the springs on these are, eh, could be better. So the black mesh metal band does have metal attachments rather than it looks like a plastic one on the stock band. So when you're actually inserting it into the Versa case itself, it provides a really solid connection. But after installing that black mesh metal band, it kind of transforms this watch into a completely different watch where it's gonna be extremely attractive and it's gonna be perfectly at home at the office. Does that make sense? That made no sense at all. But seriously, this thing is really nice looking with that black mesh metal band. It's not cheap by any means, but I tell you what, this thing is super attractive looking. And no kidding, apparently they made this mesh metal band perfectly for 195 centimeters circumference wrist because didn't have to adjust it at all. But again, this thing is super nice looking with that black mesh metal band. I mean, just for comparison, here's the plastic one and well, there you go. 
All right, so that was a rather short unboxing, but stay tuned for a little bit of B-roll that I'll have right after I'm done talking. And I'm obviously gonna test the heck out of this, but I'm actually gonna enlist the lady to test some of the features as well, considering that it does have some female-specific features that obviously I can't test myself. So stay tuned for my very in-depth review of the Fitbit Versa, that's coming soon. And in the meantime, make sure to have fun with your fitness, and we will see you in the next video.